Hello students, good morning everyone. So let's begin with our first chapter, the representation of geographical features, another part today we will take. So listen to me carefully by observing this picture. Students, maps are drawing which reduce the entire world or, or you can say a part of it to fit on a sheet of paper. But this reduction is done very carefully. So children, the distance between the two places on the map corresponds to the same two places on the ground. For this purpose, we select scale of a map. This is the scale that we can use here also on the map work. So scale of, a, of the map. Scale of a map is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map. With the example, I want to explain here with the help of a this map work. Suppose students that I want to know the distance between here and here. If I will put a mark A here and mark B here. Suppose that this distance is compared with the help of a scale, if I will measure, if it is 6 cm, suppose this the A and the B from Delhi to Maharashtra is shown on this scale as the 6 cm. Now, you have to find out the distance between the same two places on the ground. So, how you have to measure? You have to measure with the help of a this explanation. So, scale of the map is 1 centimeter equal to 200 kilometer. 1 centimeter on the map represents here how many? 200 kilometer on the ground. So, therefore, students, the 6 centimeter on the map will represent 6 into 200 equal to 1200 kilometer on the ground. So, hope it is clear to you. Now, <clears throat> so, students, scale is a very important. Scale is a very important. If you know the scale, you will be able to convert the distance between any two places on a map into the actual distance on the ground. So, let's discuss about the two types of a map. One is a small scale map and another one is the large scale map. First of all, we will discuss regarding the small scale map. Now, small scale map refers to world map or large regions such as continents, large oceans, etc. They show large areas of land in a small space. They can use a small scale like 1 cm equal to 1000 kilometer which means one centimeter on the map shows 1000 kilometer on the ground so student this is a small scale map gives very little information if we will compare to this a small scale map to a large scale map this large scale map refers to neighborhood maps district or a town when a small area is to be shown on paper, then we use a large scale. 
For example, 6 cm shows here 600 meter. So, a large scale map gives us more information than a small scale map. One more time, I want to compare this last two differences between small scale and a large scale map. A small scale map gives very little information, but a large scale map gives us more information than a small scale map. So, this is the two types of a map. These maps are very important students for us because they provide a lot of information for planning of roads, the factories and the parks etc. And maps also you can say it is very useful for the pilots, sailors, drivers, meteorologists and engineers and so on. So this is the this topic of the explanations, a small scale map and the large scale map. Now come to the another topic that is the sketch and plan. First of all, we will take the topic sketch. See here. You are observing here in figure 1.1. Here Robert's house shows. Then the temple shows afterwards. When he will take a left turn, there will be the canal. And if he, Robert, move forward, then take again a right turn, then he will go to little like a one kilometer more. Then after take a left turn, then he reaches to Krishna's house. So, you can so see here, this is the rough sketch shown the Robert's house to the Krishna's house. If Krishna want to reach the Robert's house, then the Krishna have to cross these things. And if the Robert goes to the Krishna's house, then he has to cross this temple, canal, and then he will take a turn, the turn, and afterwards again, one more turn to the left-hand side, and then he reaches to the Krishna's house. So, the, these guys actually drawing on the paper details in terms to how they reach the each other's place or you can say the house. So, what is skate student? With the help of a, this picture, you can say the roughly drawn means a sketch is a rough map drawn without a scale and without any conventional symbols is known as a sketch. In this sketch, direction and distance are not correctly represented here and detailed features are not shown on a sketch as on a map. So, in easy language, you can say that a rough drawing without a scale and any conventional symbol is known as a sketch. Little I have to explain regarding the conventional symbol. What do you mean the conventional symbols? The conventional signs or the symbols used on maps to represent different features. Like this shows, this instruction shows you the bridge. This type of a path shows you footpath. This shows railway line, P shows the post office and this type of a small instruction shows you the nearby any church is there. So, in sketch the conventional symbols are also not available. So, this is the sketch part. Now, let's learn about the plan part. What is a plan? See here student, there is a figure given in figure 1.2. This plan shows a drawing of a small area on a large scale. It shows a plan of a classroom. 
So, plan is a detailed drawing of a small area drawn on a large scale based on actual measurement taken on the ground. Here shows, the D shows the door part, there are two doors. Then the window part, W shows one, two, three windows. Then the student's table, one, two, three, four, the first four rows and afterwards also, these are also the student's table. P shows the teacher's table and the B shows the blackboard. So you can say a plan shows a small area on a large scale while a map shows a large area on a small scale. Here is the comparison between map, sketch and plan. This also you have to know. The maps part, if we will say the area, that means map covers a large area. But sketch part may cover a small or a large area. But in plan, it covers a small area. If we will talk regarding the scale part of the map, usually drawn on a small scale, sketch not drawn to scale, a rough drawing it shows. And in plan, drawn on a large scale. Details shown. Map shows what details? They show, cannot show too many details. Scale does not show all details, but only the necessary one. And plan shows what type of a detail? They show all details accurately as per the example is given already here in your book. So, it is very, very important students that after listen my explanation, you have to one time read your book thoroughly. Then it will be easy to you to understand the meaning and the explanation of the topics. Regarding this explanation, today's homework is compare the small scale maps with large scale maps with examples. Define the term conventional symbols. Explain the significance of conventional symbols used in maps. Differentiate between a sketch and a plan. And also students, you have to do table 1.1, comparison between map, sketch and plan. This one student, this table you have to draw in your notebook also. And after completing the work, you have to submit to me in your WhatsApp group. But before stop or complete this today's video, I want to give you the answer of the previous day of that three questions. Here is the answer given. I have written. You just match one time with your answer. These are the correct answers of the last day's question. Just match it and correct it. Okay. So till then. Have a good day.